Greetings everyone, my name is Flair Blitz here and welcome to my let's play of One Bit Heart. Now, this is made by the same developer who's also created Alice Mari, Light Eat 1, 2 and 3, along with One Bit Heart as well. And to be honest, I should have played One Bit Heart first, but this has just came out. But regardless and aside to that, it would be recommended for me to play One Bit Heart in the first place. But I'm going to go through this game. And we're going to see how it is. There are no ending branches, only a single plot line. So that would indicate to me, from the readme, that there's only one ending to the game. And that's all good. But this game also has story-focused logic and puzzle solving involved. Okay. This game contains elements of logical deduction. You will receive some hints for these segments. But for those poor at mystery type games, there is also an option to show extra hints. Would you consider yourself poor at games that require figuring out logic? Um, I'm going to say... Uh, which one is it? Uh, then the game would proceed as normal. Yeah. I like to think to myself I can figure out puzzles and logic. Not through everything. Nancy. Nancy? It's time to get ready, Nancy. Oh. Are you alright, Nancy? At the moment, we're lodging at a certain hotel. Not to investigate any particular case, but simply to stretch our wings is the intent. First, some brief introductions. I am Miss... In Japanese, I am Issei Makuta, an apprentice detective. Yes, I believe it's sufficient to describe my current position. The year is 2231. The area we live in is one where most things are mechanized and controlled by programs. The people of this world are given IDs, and these IDs are managed by a system called the Master Program. However, it's not so strict, nor so complex as it sounds, at least compared to before. What I believe is the pro tag of One Bit Heart. After all, this man occupies an important position as the creator of that master program. And Nancy is a much too kind individual. Nancy is currently with me as my assistant. Though he is far, far more incredible than I am. Hmm? What's up, Miss Sani Chan? Miss Sani Chan? Hmm, nothing, come to think of it. It seems I do retain some memories of the past, if one can call them that. Oh, like you told me about before. That's just how strong your thoughts are, Misan Chan. Previous feelings can surpass human understanding. That feels extremely convenient. As I'd said, your very existence seems to surpass human understanding, Nancy. Ah, oh, you're going to make me blush. Oh yeah, and I remember too, huh? About the letter. More importantly, why, Nancy, were you were passed out here? Oh, about that. It's kind of fuzzy. I can't really remember. I couldn't really remember that common box that just faded from the screen as... Me saying just interrupted. This calls for doing what a detective does and investigating. 
I don't comprehend. Besides, you and I are both apprentices. I mean, just what I said. Investigate the reason I was passed out here and close the case. To be frank, I'm not too concerned with eludicating that mystery. Mm. But what if a third party was involved? This is a hotel room. Anyway, think of it as practice. You always need to have warm up. You're speaking as if something is going to happen later. Let's do it! Alright, fine. Don't run up to me like that. Oof. Well then, what shall we do? Basic procedure is to check for crime scene and talk to people. First, maybe you should try talking to me. Understood. Well then, let's just begin. Hmm. Information here are the controls. Yeah, movement and selection is arrow keys. Confirmation is Z enter space. Uh, cancel menu. Just what you would see in RPG Maker games and other Wolf RPG editor games, which is all good and universal. Um, message, message skip is control, dash is A plus move. Oh, it's A. I wonder if it's also shift as well, I'm not too sure. You can check these controls at any time from the menu op sorry, memo option on the menu. So basically, you, you can think of it as like a visual novel as well, in a way. So, also at the same time as a side scroller. I need to handle Nancy's case for the moment. Okay. Talk to you. Hey, Mianza Chan. Misane Chan. My brain's nice and clear today. You can talk with certain characters by selecting the word bottle from the ring menu. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, that's nice. Search. This isn't what you. So, uh, this isn't what you do to talk to me. Okay, try. I know that. Message. Now it's time for us to talk so we can figure out this case. It's not so major as a case. Anyway, be sure to make a memo of anything curious. You'll always find places to use those things later. As you always say, I know. Now then, would you tell me what happened? At least as far as you can remember. Right. I was in this room the whole time. Then suddenly my vision spun. And I guess I fainted just like that. Mm. On discovery, Nancy was collapsed face up. You were lying face up when I found you. Hmm. Nancy remembers his vision spinning when he fainted. The back of his head also hurts. That's right. The back of my head does kind of hurt. Anything else? Hmm. <laughs> nope. <sighs> Could I look at the back of your head? Go ahead. Or behind, rather. Well, now. This is quite a lump. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nancy, could I see your face as well? Oh. Feel free. Nancy's forehead is res red, as if it was hit with something, but Bruce seems very recent. Your forehead is also a little red. Is this a separate injury? Huh? Mm. Mm, I don't know. You should have fallen backwards, so it's a mystery. I'll make a note of it. That should be all I can ask for you for now. Yep. It doesn't seem you can recall much. Perhaps it's not possible to know given this little. Oh. That's where searching for crime scene comes in. I did tidy up the area a little, I'm afraid. Well now, messing with a crime scene is very unbefitting for a detective in training. Well, I didn't expect this would be treated like a case. Yeah, with any crime scene, when upon first sight, you leave it completely untouched. Because that means you're going to be able to investigate what the crime scene is most likely going to be. So if you clear up the blood before the detectives come in, then that removes the case where it would be the case where, there'd be, where there's been a murder involved. You never know. Oh well, anything. Do what you can. You're just going through the emotions, I see. You can investigate the crime scene by selecting the magnifying glass from Nancy's green menu. Yeah, this is the one. Well then, next is to investigate the crime scene. We're really doing this, aren't we? Aren't you excited? Not so much, given how pointless this whole is. <laughs> okay, just throwing a curveball, why not? Ah, oh, that's cruel. 
Anyway, check anything that gives your attention. It could be hiding an important case. Yeah, so these squares are most certainly... Wait. The these squares indicate clues. It's a ball. Yep, a glass ball. I see a lot of different forms of art around. Is this an interest of yours, Nancy? That's not exactly it. I asked hotel management about ways to kill time. And they lend me this room. I see. But it's dangerous leaving this down here. Um, well, clean up, you know. It sounds simple, but it's actually pretty hard. You're hopeless. But I've just realised I didn't touch this glass ball, so it remains as it was at the time of the incident. A glass ball on the floor hasn't been moved since the incident. Yeah, leave it completely unscathed until the detectives arrive and all the inspectors. Have you want to call the classification of people who inspects different objects within a crime scene? Let's check that. Okay. A brush. Yes, yeah, a brush. Do you paint, Nancy? <laughs> nah. My art skills are pretty awful. Is that so? Oh, but I guess I'm better than Natsuki. However you want to pronounce that. It's been a few years. You can't be sure. Hmm. I don't like the fact that everything's been X'd on the screen. Maybe I selected the wrong option and it's given me more hints than I should entail. A canvas? Mm. But it's all blank. It's large. Just how long would it take to finish a painting this large? Well, for some people, they like to spend ages and ages on end and then title the bloody thing. Just a quick sketch. Shut up! Sitting for that long seems like it would be tiring. Hmm. A statue of a woman? Oh. Nope. Mm -hmm. hmm? Yeah. This is a clock. Where on it can you check for time? <laughs> It'll tell you if you pat the head. The head springs off, then it says for time. A clock designed as a statue. When its head is padded, it flies up and speaks for time. What a strange clock. It would be faster to just use your bit phone. Well, I think it's neat. You do tend to like this kind of thing, Nancy. Mm. Well, I mean, I've never seen this before. Mm. Then, how do you know it was a clock? Hmm? It was just in the corners of my memory. I wonder why that is. This is the first time he sees he's seen the clock. Hard to tell it is one as a glance, though. Yeah, yeah, I'll record it. And the mirror. A large mirror. Nice and shiny. Do you have any more helpful remarks? Mm. Nope. I see. Well, that's probably enough. Is it? So next, we discuss. I feel I can see where this is going without discussion. You have to follow procedure, okay? Hmm? Anyway, talk to me again like you did it before. Select the return arrow in the upper left to end the investigation of the crime scene. Ah, uh, this. This up here. My room. Hey, Mr. Chan. My brain's nice and clear today. Well, again? Now it's time for questioning. Or in other words, interrogation. I'll talk about what I remember, and you butt in if it's something that strikes you. Something that strikes me. For instance, if this were a real crime, there could be statements that are lies. Would you lie, Nancy? In this case, well, I don't remember. So I might say some weird things. Saying weird things is the norm for you. Anyway, you'll learn it best by doing it. Understood. Maybe in one bit heart we get to learn about the, um, the acquaintances of these characters anyways. Some lines of fully voiced. I didn't have much to do so I left the room and later on I came back here. And then, all of a sudden, my vision spun, and just like that, I fell to the floor with a thump. I was just passed out like that until you came and woke me up, Mia San Chan. Since I fell backwards, some would have 
had to pull me back, right? Which means there was a third party involved. That ends my testimony. Then here, then he, sorry, then here begins the question and answer. That's right. Questioning will now begin. The goal is to listen to the person and gather information. However, the person may lie or the statements which contradict facts. When this happens, present the evidence that proves the statement is faulty. I should check what I've noticed so far. So we have a glass ball on the floor, a clock designed as a statue of a woman, its head flies off when panting and it says the time. I found the Nancy lying face up. My vision spun and I fell with a twirl, I still remember, and the back of my head hurts too. The forehead. Nancy's forehead is red, as if it was hit with something. The bruise looks fairly recent to me. This is the first time I saw this clock. Note. Surely it's not recon recognizable at a glance. So we have two objects and four memories. That's what this is. Would you like to save? Oh, absolutely I would love to save. Good. Okay, good luck. Interrogation. I didn't have much to do, so I left the room and later on and came back here. Hmm. Did anything happen outside? Not outside outside. I was still... Oh, I need to turn this down on my end because this is really, really loud. Sorry about the audio cut. Not outside outside. I was still in the hotel. I just did some exploring. Did you gain anything from it? There are lots of neat looking places. I see. No useful information regarding this time then. I didn't have much to do, so I left the room. And later on, I came back here. Hmm. It flies off. On discovery. Vision spun with a twirl. So he's saying that he was outside. Not outside, outside, but just outside the room. And then, all of a sudden, my vision spun, and just like that, I uh, fell to the floor with a thump. With a thump. Forehead? I think if the discovery would come first, and then the actual looking at the person comes later? What about it? Apologies, it seems I errored. Uh, I'm not good with mystery detective games. Uh... You see, I'm no good at these sort of games, you know. Uh... Uh, okay, and sometimes... Clicking on the arrows don't work. Next. And then all of a sudden, yep, next. I was just passed out like that until you came and woke me up, me Sanchan. Hmm. Again, no idea. Since I fell backwards, someone would have had to pull me back, right? Which means there was a third party involved in this room. That ends my testimony. I see. Hmm. Nancy claims someone pulled him from behind, which is why he fell backwards, but that's only a theory. He claims... His claim makes me wonder. Hmm. Uh, I don't like this one bit. I'm no good at mystery games. Or mystery murder games. However you want to call it. Didn't have much to do, so I left the room, and later on I came back here.
Hmm. Nancy, you made this claim earlier. I fell backwards, so something definitely knocked me over. I did. However, it didn't need to be from behind, did it? Huh? That bruise on your forehead. It seems to me it was recent. You wouldn't have gotten it simply by f simply falling backwards. What's with that reaction? It adds to the mood, doesn't it? Uh, anyway... Can you not remember anything about that bruise? I remember. Coming to and having a bruise. So he doesn't. Mm. And besides, there isn't anything in my room that could have given me a bruise on the forehead, is there? Yeah, the statue. Now, I think there was something I found investigating that might have done the trick. Something could have caused a forehead bruise. Um... Maybe the glass bowl, but probably someone actually hit him with the clock. Yeah, what do you mean? No, Nancy, this could have injured your forehead. That's... Apparently, the head of this clock leaps off and says the time when you pat it. Say you're near the clock, it's a curious looking object, and one might, one might pry at it and touch it. Mm. Indeed. But, that's a little weak on its own. Is there evidence I touched this clock? I'm not intrigued by everything, you know. I doubt there's anyone whose curiosity is so constantly pied as you, Nancy. Let's say there is for now. <sighs> How could I prove you touched it? If it's a Nancy touched the clock. That's right. Nancy, you had some memory of this clock, didn't you? One can understand that this is a clock, provided it is explained to be a clock. On the other hand, without being told or investigating, there's no display of any kind. So how could you know at a glance? Oh yeah, earlier. You said you were seeing it for the first time. Well, why did I fall backwards and pass out? Hmm? Why? Tell me, Miss Mi San Chan. Why did Miss San? Why did Nancy fall backwards? Nancy fell backwards because. Um, well, the glass ball would be on the ceiling. Be the fact that it would be the glass ball is admire it and then just subsequently falling down. Hmm. The vicious spine as I fell with a twirl, I still remember in the back of my head hurts too. Yeah, that's not glass ball. Yeah. You tumbled over backwards because of this. That's a glass ball. Yes, I rearranged the crime scene slightly, but I did not relocate this ball. It is where it was at the time of the incident which is lying on the floor. Simply put, you tripped on this glass ball and fell over backwards. S say what? Now, let's sum all this up. First, you took an interest in this clock and while feel feeling around it. So, first you took an interest in this clock and while feeling around it, touched the head. The head leapt off and struck your forehead. It happened so suddenly, surely it bewildered you. You stepped on this glass bowl that had fallen to the floor. So you tripped and then fainted. Yes, that is the truth of this case. The culprit is you, Nancy. No way. Such a rule gold bargain scheme. So then, wasn't this all entirely your fault? Well, naturally, I knew that from the start. Then what was this farce? Well, it made you pay attention to me, Miss Sanchan. Please think of a more worthwhile game next time. After all, Nancy, you can accompany me any time. Oh, right. <sighs> there are many places to play here, so you know. It's great, right? There's a hot spring, a glimmer 
glimmicky room, a ferris wheel outside. It's like a, a little amusement park. I want to check it all out. Indeed, I still need to unpack some luggage. Once I'm done, we can look around. Okay. Let's hope we can relax without anything happening. You say that, Nancy, but bad things usually happen. Hey, do you want a good one-liner to use when you solve a case? Ahem. <clears throat> How about... I'll flip that argument on its head and defeat it with logic. I'm going back to my room. Okay. Well, later then. Yeah, not, ev not all evidence is apparent. Thematical. Some trouble happened. Of what exactly? We cannot stop. What all of that would betray. Bunny Melanarchy. Okay. Alright, that should be about it. Nancy is likely sitting in his room. Luckily, it's just next door. So, not too. Tr so, sorry, so not too troublesome. My room. My room. Let's see if we can find anything in here. My room. Ah. Okay, so the arrow is a little bit off, and that can be quite confusing if you think, I don't know, maybe this is in between item and memo. Well, obviously, that would be blurred, so yeah. I've got 99 problems, and all my friends are one of those problems. <laughs> friends 99. I just want to see if there's anything in here. Anything of note. Hiya. I'm all here. All ears. Corridor. Ah, oh, it's nice that it gives you pointers. Corridor. This room. What does it say my room for? Honestly. And this room over here? This room belongs to someone else. Should be a door there. Why isn't there a door? First, I should meet up with Nancy. Nancy. Someone needs to correct me about that in the comments because I have no idea. Already sorted out your stuff? Indeed, it was a simple matter, really. Okay, then. Now let's go somewhere. Such as, well, I want to check out that gimmick room. Gimmick room? Give me a moment while I bring up the hotel guide. A room that rotates at fixed times. It just rotates? Yeah, and also, you can't go inside while it's turning. That would be dangerous, yes. Whatever safety measures are in place, there's always the potential for injury or demise. If a room is merely upside down or not depending on when you enter, is there really anything that interesting about it? Mm. Personally, I'm curious about how the rotation works. Like, what systems make it operate? Is it honestly so is it honestly that fascinating? I want to know anything I don't know. I see. 
That's about the answer I expected from you, Nancy. Well then, let's pay a visit. Thanks. Are you talking about the gimmick room you're thinking of uh, next door, maybe? Because that's the only other room we can assume. I'll let like you check if there's anything interesting if you interact with a certain tile, but you know. Hi! This room belongs to someone else. Greetings! Is that girl on her own? Mm. She's looking around with uncertainty. Maybe she's lost? Uh, is everything alright? Uh huh. I'm talking to you. You look awfully restless and uneasy. Ah, what's your name? Me, me, re? Miri is my name. Wait, no. Miri Ujo is my name. Miri Ujo, would you like to... So, would you like to take you to the lobby? Yeah, it's where we're going anyway. Right, let's go together. Um, thank you. Suspicious one. Here's the lobby. Let's see if there's anything else this way. No options, so that must be the end of the corridor. Hi. Excuse us, do you have a moment? Oh ho, guests, whatever do you need? Well, you appear to be an employee of this hotel. Ah, uh, you're a bit wrong there. Hmm? Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I am this... Okay. I am this hotel's owner, son, Koza. He won't be on the test, but you still ought to remember it. Um, what seems to be troubling you, dear guests? Perhaps I should leave this girl to an employee. Mom isn't here. I'm looking for her. Mm. Might she be that tall madame's daughter? Ah, so you do know the hotel's guests. She has a very similar aura. Can I trust him with her? She's looking for her mother. That's a lost child. I can't be having our guests fretting like that. I shall take care of this matter. That would be helpful, thank you. We all have the same coat, so patch up the holes. <laughs> Did you mean we're all in the same boat? I guess they might say that t may say that too, yeah. <sighs> well then, guests, you can rest easy now. Enjoy the hotel life. We'll be giving our all for you. You can reach the facilities via the nearby elevator. Be sure to never forget that. Thank you very much. That's us for now. Let's head for that gimmick room. What exactly are you talking about when you say gimmick room? I am not sure on this matter. It belongs to someone else. You say that's my room. They both say my room. You need to specify which rooms they are. Is it Misan's room or is it the other guy's room? I, f I, keep, I forget people's names very easily. Uh, well, for now, let's just go to the elevator. Wait, what was that? So, this is the gimmick room. Wow. Looks like there's hardly anything here. Indeed, it is a rather simple design. The rat just gets more and more excited. What is that exactly? Mm -hmm. oh, my. Pardon us for the nosiness. Um, I am Shishuna Ujo. I came here with my daughter today. However, we've split up. I thought she may be here. Would your daughter happen to be named Mayu? Oh, yes, that's her. Well then, we left her in the care of an employee in the lobby she, since she seemed to be lost. My, my. I'm sorry to cause you any trouble, but that's good. I was very worried. Then I'll head for the lobby. Thank you very much. Do you need someone to escort you? Hmm? Uh, so you noticed. Please, don't concern yourself. It's an old injury. And I do have a cane, just in case. Uh, I see. There are lots of steps, so be careful. Thank you for your kindness. Well then. There's no one else here. Recently. They built a theme park of sorts on the roof. Maybe that's where everyone's going. 
Don't run rampant just because no one's here. Hey, I'm an adult, you know. I'm only saying it because you're you, Nancy. Oh, I see. Don't worry. If you're bored, you can leave without me. I'll wait for you. Got it. Me and Chan, I'm done. Understood. Anything to note? <laughs> Our thinkful way it's set up is really nice. What a great school level impression. Alright then. Is there anywhere else you want to go? Mm. Mm. You seem like you tired of wait from waiting. So how about garden? The garden? Yeah. It's in the fourth floor facilities area. I think it'll be a good place to take it easy. Alright, let us go. Okay. My god, this room is certainly upside down. But there was a note of sorts earlier. I think it's around here. Miyu is a clever girl, so she doesn't get lost often, but sometimes I don't quite know what she's thinking. Well, 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 dear guess. How do you like the accommodations? But well, where is she? Is your daughter nowhere to be s Yeah, there's a, there's a note somewhere. There's a... Oh, I see! That's the elevator! Okay. So I kept just clicking on it and it just suddenly went out. Garden. And who is this within the garden? Ah, these are all real, rather than artificial. Yeah. I like this nature -y smell. You can even sit on a bench and relax. Very nice, I think I might like it. That bench is comfortable, right? Guests fall asleep on it all the time. Good day. Ah, oh, good day, I suppose you're an employee. Shinobu Kasuga. I'm a gardener here. If you want a seeming place, you're welcome any time. Miss Shinobu, I have to say, this garden seems well kept and a very comfort comforting place. Thanks. I'm here most of the day, so it cheers me up to hear things like that. Are the butterflies flying around real as well? Yep, they're cute, aren't they? <laughs> I know. <laughs> You're funny, sir. But this person seems a bit out of it himself. What's a cat doing here? Cats? Oh. Those are Koza's cats. From right to left, they're... They're these names, I do not know how to pronounce them. They wander to and, and fro from around here. But we're under to and from around here. Around the hotel. Do we get in any strange places? Sure. Some facilities have cat doors. So we get around. And just look at how round they are. My gosh, they're very round. <laughs> That's fun. They're always napping here in the day. Uh, this cat's pretty active at least. They're all remarkably chubby. I'm concerned about their diet. They're a little too spoiled, yeah. But I mean, I can understand pampering cute things. Oh. I get that too. I really want to pamper me saint chan I don't wish to get fat. <laughs> uh, but it's nice to have someone who adores you. You should value it. Adore me too. Just how is Nancy able to boldly say such embarrassing things? Ah, their fur is very nice. They must be brushed as well. Oh, uh, it's almost dinner time. Yep, I should let you get back to your rooms. Do you two eat together? No, I prefer to eat my meals in peace. That's a little cruel, isn't it? <laughs> you two are friendly, huh? If you like, you should come here again sometime. Right, thank you very much. And to the cast too. Well... Well, that is indeed a lovely gesture of arms, if I say so myself. So thank you very much for watching, folks. That is the first part of my Let's Play of One Bit Heart. And we shall see each other in the next time of this game. Have a good day and take care of yourselves.